Hello, this is Dr. Tushar Shah. Today is the 13th of August and we are on the 36th day of our program on outpatient management of COVID-19. Today's topic, oxygen therapy at home in COVID-19. There are three kinds of patients who will receive oxygen at home. The first and the commonest kind is the patient who has been discharged from a hospital on oxygen. Why are they discharged on oxygen? Because the extensive disease has left behind residual fibrosis and the patient now behaves like an interstitial lung disease patient and is hypoxic at room air. Such patients may require days to weeks to months of oxygen at home. The second variety is the patient who refuses to be hospitalized despite hypoxia and the third variety is a patient who is hypoxic but is not yet getting a bed in the hospital. There are two equipments with which oxygen can be delivered at home. One is an oxygen cylinder and the second is an oxygen concentrator. What are the differences? Oxygen cylinder has a limited capacity and has to be refilled but it runs without electricity. The oxygen concentrator does not need to be refilled because it creates oxygen out of thin air all the time but runs on electricity. The cylinder is cheaper, the concentrator is more expensive. The patient who is discharged or the patient who refuses to be hospitalized typically will need both these equipments, the concentrator and the cylinder. Let us talk about each one. In my next video, I will be showing you the oxygen concentrator. The oxygen concentrator comes in two varieties. One is a 5 litre capacity and one is a 10 litre capacity. The Philips brand is a popular brand amongst the 5 litre capacity oxygenators. 5 litre capacity means they can deliver anything from 1 litre to 5 litres. 10 litre capacity, the popular brand is Devil Bis and it is more heavy duty. The 5 litre capacity machine costs 68,000 rupees outright purchase if you buy the Philips brand today. And the heavier machine, the 10 litre can cost 1,68,000 rupees outright purchase. The rentals are obviously more preferred by most people. A uh, 5 litre oxygen concentrator has a rental of about 5000 rupees per month plus some deposit to be paid. Deposit is variable. The 10 litre machine is about 12000 rupees rent per month and of course a larger deposit to be paid. The cylinder again can be outrightly purchased, not done usually and rented more common. It can be taken on rent from a private lender or it can be taken with the very very nominal rent from a charitable organization like a medical association or a rotary club or a lands club. The costing from a private lender of a medium sized oxygen cylinder is about 900 rupees rent per month and 450 rupees refilling charge. The deposit is variable can be 6,000 or 8,000 rupees. If you take it from a charitable organization, they may charge a nominal rent of 20 rupees per day. The medium sized cylinder, oxygen cylinder has 1300 liters of oxygen. If you give it at 2 liters per minute to a patient, the cylinder will last 650 minutes or about 11 hours theoretically but there is some leakage. So typically a 1300 litre cylinder will last about 9 hours to the patient. Now how are these both used in the same patient? The oxygen concentrator runs on a compressor and it is advisable that the compressor be given rest periodically. So every 4 hours a 15 minute of rest to this concentrator or every 8 hours a 30 minute rest to the concentrator is required. When the rest is being given and if the patient cannot tolerate room air even for 15-30 minutes, then a cylinder comes into play. Or if the electricity goes away, the cylinder comes into play. That is why both equipments are required in the same patient. Well, I will show you the equipment again next time when we meet and uh, till then, goodbye.